Hey, good morning. We're so glad to get to join together this morning. We are sad that it's not in person, that it has to be through a screen. But we hope and we trust wherever you guys are joining us from this morning, your basement or your kitchen table, maybe your mom and dad's house, hopefully in some comfy clothes, uh, that you guys are ready to turn your hearts towards Jesus, towards resting in Him, uh, that together we would be full of worship. Not just going through the motions, not just gathering or being upset that we're not gathering, but that we would be excited to dive into God's Word, to hear the truth that He has to reveal for us today. This week, I've done some reading uh, as I've been home, and uh, one of the books I was reading on had a chapter on prayer. Jesus instructed his disciples on how to pray. He gave them the tools, and he spoke in them the power that comes from prayer. And then he says, in this world you'll have trouble, but take heart because I've overcome the world. He didn't just give them the tools to pray powerfully so that they could run away. He gave them the tools so that they could stand firm and they could engage in prayer in their relationship with Jesus and as they led the church. Uh, it uses the example of a military general that uh, a military general doesn't just run away when he meets an obstacle. No, he, he requests the right personnel and the right equipment to forge in to the battle. That's what we're doing when we pray. We're engaging in the battle around us. And so this morning as we, as we pray, uh, we enter into the battleground. The battle for my soul, for your soul, that in this season of Advent, we would be preparing our hearts to worship Jesus. So let's do that together. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you for this body of believers. We are sad to be away from each other this morning. But God, gather us in our hearts. Communicate to our collective souls the mission that you have laid before us to go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, taking it to the ends of the earth. Help us to be fervent in prayer, to hope for what is good, to cling to the truth that you declare, and to fear the Lord, not man. Father, turn our hearts towards you today. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.